In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the new baits that I've added to my arsenal from Advantage Bait Company. Stay tuned. It's coming up. Alrighty, y'all, Lou here from Beyond the Bounds. This channel geared towards bass fishing, gear reviews, tournament footage. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Also, head over to Beyond the Bounds Outdoors on Instagram and give me a follow there and help support my channel, help support me grow on Instagram. Really appreciate it. So today's video is going to be about some of the new Advantage baits that I have put in my arsenal for 2019. Now, um, I discovered Advantage baits last year was kind of on Tackle Warehouse's uh, YouTube channel, and they they mentioned this really unique chatterbait bladed jig uh, that I was <clears throat> kind of kind of like, okay, I'm looking for that bait. I'm looking for that that new bladed jig that has something different than the other bladed jigs out there. And, you know, for me, this was it. And it was a bait that I started throwing and had immediate feedback with. I mean, it was almost first cast kind of stuff with this bait that once I started throwing it, I started catching fish. And, you know, it's got a lot of interesting things about it. Matter of fact, I did a whole video on that. So go check that video out if you would like to see more um, <clears throat> about this bait company this advantage bait company they've actually been around for quite a while but you know like a lot of bait companies it's hard for people to break out of the norm if, if they don't get that promotional material and this is a company that you know i'm glad to help out i'm glad to be able to say hey go check out advantage baits go to their website go find them at tacklefreaks.com um, tacklewarehouse.com you, you know i'll post some links down in the description below to where you can find them but you know these are these are products that I stand behind as quality quality products and you know let's uh let's let me show you kind of the ones that I've picked up for the 2019 season I'll probably be making more orders this is just my first order because I throw a lot of these presentations all the time so chatterbaits are probably one of my most go-to presentations and that's because I fish a lot of dirty water um, a lot of stained water and you know I need something that's going to call those fish up and that's why the advantage chatterbait is unique in that situation you know you can you can have a lot of different bladed jigs that that rattle that thump that thump hard um, but this one has a unique design of the blade that knocks against the head and that knocking gives you kind of like a crankbait sound to it gives you a, a, a popping so you'll also be able to benefit from not only the vibration caused by the blade which the fish will pick up with their lateral lines but you'll also be able to benefit from the extreme flash technology which at first i kind of i'll be honest i kind of thought was just fluff fluffy marketing but when you see how well the light hits these blades I mean, this is just a copper blade on here, but the light really hits it and it really reflects a lot and because it's got this printed um, <clears throat> extreme flash technology on there, it really actually does benefit more flash than other blades out there. So there is just a lot going on just with this blade alone. You got a swivel, um, an O-ring, a split ring on there that's going to allow you to uh, not get hung up. And even if the few times to where I may have had it, had had it hung up a good pop and it, it re-engages really fast so you know that that keeps it from from hanging up but there's a lot going in with this you know the the unique blade design is what sets this one apart from pretty much all others that are on the market and i picked up quite a few of these in different colors uh, i got a black one with a gold blade black one with a uh, black blade and uh, a couple of uh, these kind of shiner colors which have some some gold flake to them but i got both of those in gold and i'll show you some close-ups as these as i'm talking about them but you know highly recommend going to advantage uh, advantagebaitcompany.com checking them out um, seeing some other youtubers getting on the getting on the bandwagon with these as well and uh, you know like tackle junkie saw that tackle junkie recently released a video talking about these and they're actually 
um, native to, to Illinois where Tackle Junkie's at, and he, he blames good old Bass Geek for, for getting some of them too, you know, but so again, starting to see people catch on, release some videos about these things. They're good baits, they're quality baits. Um, I think uh, some of them have mustad uh, hooks on them. I think maybe even the jigs have that he sells has gamakatsu, but these are mustad ultra points that are <laughs> phenomenal. So, so while I focused on buying a lot of the uh, bladed jigs, I also wanted to try out his spinnerbait combos because I like that if you go on the website, you can find different variations. Like you see that this has a chartreuse blade with kind of a little, little white Colorado blade here. Um, these are premium, premium quality uh, components here on this swivel. I mean, that thing just, just spins for days. Look at that. It's got a nice flare to this skirt. It's really good um, rubberized. Yeah, see, I'm bar I can barely get that thing to even try to move on that on that skirt right there. <clears throat> so it's a good quality component to this, and that is one stout of a hook on this spinnerbait. You know, it's a light wire frame, which also helps create good vibration in the water. I like fishing light wire uh, spinnerbaits uh, for that exact reason. Um, but you know, another ultra point, super sharp hook. But again, I like the qual. I cannot wait. To throw this um, probably going to take this thing over to Delaware and some of the Delaware ponds and stuff and just wreck fish on this and you can see that you know he's got these kind of thick parts of the skirt down there that kind of come out and act as a trailer those are definitely going to swim in the water behind these things and really generate some <clears throat> some good uh, good action in that I, I also picked up a black one um, because again, I was able to customize by ordering through his website. So I got a ooh, good catch on me. Good catch, I didn't get the, the, the hook. But you know, black and blue, one of my favorite colors for throwing in dirty water. And as you can see, we've got the uh, the black blades here, black uh, black nickel or whatever, with the the imprint on there. High quality components, guys. These are gonna do me very well in the waters that I fish. And all in about the half ounce or three eighths ounce uh, spinner baits. I like to throw half ounce. They just throw a little bit better, I think. <clears throat> um, so he also has other variations. Now he does have a jig, and if you know by watching my channel, I'm a pretty huge fan of the New Tech line of jigs. And where he kind of grabbed my attention was he's got a dual weed guard there. This is his mat jig and he's got a dual weed guard. And when I pulled this thing out, one of the things that immediately caught my attention were the rattles. All right, so these come with a rattle, but you can probably hear that. And I don't know if you ever bought rattles before, but some rattles, they just don't, they don't rattle loud enough. But that's got enough rattle in there. Um, again, this is something that I'm gonna go throw. It's got a good head design, but I'm gonna go throw this into heavy trees and uh, you know, really get that up, get it pegged against those limbs and kind of just jig it right there and get that rattle and that knocking against that wood, which will really draw those fish, draw those um, fish that are kind of being lethargic in a sense. They're in, the, they're in the cover, but they're not really gonna commit to something. You give them that little bit of extra in there, might trigger that bite. So I only picked up one of these because again, I'm, I'm, I'm very particular and what I do with my jigs. So I'm gonna test this out and get a good review on it later on and uh, we'll see how we'll see how well it does, which I've got I've got high hopes for it. I really do. I may switch over completely to those if uh, if I find what I like in it. Um, last but not least, picked up some swim jigs. Picked up swim jigs in different colors. It's kind of like a bluegill color. I really like bluegill as a color for uh, a lot of things. In dirty water, early spring gives you gives you a good color to throw, especially when uh, bass are on beds and everything. White, you can almost never go wrong in almost any water color with throwing a white jig uh, all the way down to Florida to Texas to, I mean, a white kind of jig, white spinner bait. Those are just key presentations. You see, I got a a Lake Fork Trophy trophy Lures uh, swimmer on there. <laughs> that thing's going back and forth. Look at that action. That's a lot of action in a, 
in a trailer. I really like those for trailers. I'll probably switch over to some Excite Baits Shad Nasties to put on these as well uh, for those and my chatter baits and maybe even my spinner baits. So um, we'll we'll see. But this is a really good uh, what it's a really good swim jig. And I think what I like most about it swim jig is it's not a super stout uh, weed guard here. Because when you're swimming that along, what a lot of the time you're going to get is just a real quick pop. And with that real quick pop, sometimes they can let it go. And with you want that, that weed guard, in, in a sense, to, to be able to, to get through and get that hook in without do a jarring home hook set with swim jigs. What you really kind of want is to be able to reel in and kind of sweep with them. And that's what a uh, keeper like this is going to allow you to do. Plus the... Uh, the line tie is a little little recessed, so that's going to help it come through grass better. And you know, overall, it's just a good-looking jig, good eye presentation, good eyes on both sides of these. And fish really will key into those things. Like take a take a crankbait and put a big dot on the center on the center of that crankbait, and then look at that crankbait. Your eyes, as a human, will immediately go to that dot that's on the back of that crankbait. So you know, having little things like good eyes, good good gill patterns, little patterns like that really actually do help in my opinion. So guys, that's my Advantage Bait Company order for the 2019 season. Uh, looking forward to really throwing a lot of these and, and continuing to throw a lot of these because I've already been throwing them ever since I saw them on Tackle Warehouse. So I just want to make a video for you guys to showing you kind of, hey, this is what I'm purchasing. I'm not making huge gear orders. I made some lose orders, but you know, these are kind of the gear that I'm switching over to. I'm transitioning some of my gear that I'm already using to uh, Advantage Bait Company because again, I like that one, I liked and loved the innovation that they made with their bladed jigs. So um, I figured, hey, let's try out some more. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Head over to Advantage Bait Company, pick you up some of these, transition to maybe make your own combination uh, that's gonna help you fit your body of water. Uh, instead of just going out there and buying what's available at Tackle Warehouse, you know, head over to his website, check them out, and, uh, you know, pick you up a couple of these.